In previous videos, we took a look at the Creo Parametric 4.0 enhancements for creating mirrored assemblies and mirrored subassemblies. And in this video, we'll take a look at creating mirrored parts. And just like those other videos, I'm going to start off in Creo Parametric 3.0 to show you how you would do it back then. And in 3.0, you would click the Create command. And then we have Part. We would change the subtype to Mirror. You would give it a name and a common name and then click OK and you would pick the part that you wanted to mirror and then your planar reference. I actually don't even have a datum plane right where I want it to be and I don't have the mid plane function in 3.0 so I'm just going to use this plane over here and you can click the preview button and it'll end up creating a brand new part for you even though the original part has symmetry. Let's take a look at the enhancements in Creo Parametric 4.0. So switching over to that version and instead of using the create command, we have the mirror component command. I will select the part that I want to mirror. Actually, let me cancel out of here. I just realized again that I do not have my mid plane. Let's create a mid plane to mirror about. Click the plane command and select one surface, select the other surface and it automatically goes to mid plane. One thing I like to do is adjust the size of the display of the reference on my computer screen just so it's not so big and then click OK and I've got my mirror plane. I no longer need to see ASM right so I'm going to hide it from the mini toolbar. Now let's repeat that process. We click mirror component and I'll pick the part that I want to mirror and I will select my new mid plane. And here we have the new model name that'll be used. We could, uh, by default, just say, hey, reuse the selected model. But I'm going to check the box to perform a symmetry analysis. Like before, you can expand the options if you want to consider quilts, datums, and curves. If I click the preview button, we can see where the new part would end up. And I'm going to click OK. And right now it's performing a symmetry analysis. This will actually take a moment, so I'm going to put in a quick edit here, and we'll come back when the symmetry analysis is complete. Okay, and so now we see that there is a message telling me that the gear part was found to be symmetric, so it just reused the part. So there we have the uh, mirrored version of the component. Now let's take a look when we don't have the ability to reuse. I'll select the part. Oh, actually, let's use mirror component. Select the part that I want to mirror. Select my mid plane. And we're going to perform a symmetry analysis. Again, I can click preview and see the component that will be made. Click the OK button. And this time it comes back pretty quickly and ended up creating a new part because this part didn't have symmetry. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.